right guys it is time for a new tiny dreamer video and in this video I'm going to show you 10 things that I did differently fixed do you guys remember that video where I did 10 things I would do differently if I was to get a tiny house for the first time I named off 10 different things and now in this video I am going to show you those 10 different things actually fixed because I would do them differently I took the time to actually change them now if you guys watch the 10 things that I would do differently and then you can revert back to this video and it'll show you all of them fixed let's get started on number one I moved my closet from upstairs it used to be hanging from the ceiling on a stick I moved it down here after I moved the washer dryer combo, which gave me a lot more room upstairs, um, which I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you what happened where these clothes used to be. My closet used to hang from there, and I used to have from there to there, I had a wood piece with my closet and my clothes hanging down, as you can see. And then after I moved my stuff downstairs, I replaced it with a litter box when I got my new kittens. I put my side table there and I've got a couple bins over there that I cover with a throw. And then I actually moved my TV from off the wall over there. See that over there? Um, to right here. Now I can watch TV a lot easier and this is one of the things that I fixed. Number two, I actually cut my cat hole in my um, litter box area bigger. When I first got my house, I wanted it you know really big and they made it like 8 by 10. Romeo is a big cat and Rocky's actually a big cat and neither one of them could really get through that little hole because there was a little step and they had to you know jump over it and then I would find fur along the top as if they would skin their back when they were jump you know jumping through the hole. I had someone cut it. Actually uh, the person who cut it was um, a team member from Incredible Tiny Homes. They cut it bigger when uh, they were here. So I'm going to show you right now what the before and after pictures look like. To be honest with you, I think they love it so much better because there's so much more room. This section right here, this actually used to be a smaller hole. So you can see exactly how much space uh, that hole was so small and, you know, I had to get a, a corner litter box as it is. So. It's actually, I love this now, so. Number three, admittedly this one is not fixed because it's supposed to be a catio for my cats. I have not had that built yet for more room for the cats and I even got two new kittens. They actually jump all over the ladder, they jump all over the catwalk, they run up and down the stairs and run down the catwalk, so right now I feel there is enough room in the, the house for the cats and I hope to build a catio either next spring or wherever whenever number four would be that I got my toilet vent vented up now because this isn't actually even my sitting area anymore because that's why I changed it in the first place I'll take you inside to tell you some of the things that is happening with this being vented up but um, I'm gonna actually take you around here to show you my new sitting area and that it has nothing to do with uh, the section that I moved. Here's what went on with the toilet vent. The original problem was that the toilet vent was being vented outside the house and my sitting area was actually right outside the house. So I had, you know, um, those tables and chairs that I just showed you in the back, I had those in the front um, and the compost toilet vent scent from my waist would go right into that sitting area. I made it one of the things that I changed. However, when I got into my new spot, I gained such a huge yard that I no longer needed that little space for my sitting area. Now that it's vented up, the compost toilet vent, the fan that came with it, isn't strong enough to push up the odors 10 feet into the air. I have to get, well, I already got a new fan, um, but now I need to get a new inverter strong enough to push that fan and push the scent up 10 feet. I have not had a chance to do that yet. I'm working on it. Until then, I have put the bathroom vent on, as my builder would call it, I think the fart fan. He, he said you could put that fan on if there's like steam from the shower or, you know, venting scent or whatever, but not just the toilet. So I actually have the 
bathroom vent going on all the time to help push out the odors that the fan from the original compost toilet that I bought that's not working. Number five is simply that I parked my tiny house in a place where I can easily get in and out. I have such a big space now and they backed it in horizontally so I'm sure if I was to leave they could back in with the machine and then it can be pulled out because the hitch is still over on that side. Number six, I had a mattress sort of thing like a bench cushion on here that I didn't really like like and I had then a blanket like a teal throw over it but when I got my kittens they started to poop everywhere and until I got that problem fixed they had already ruined the cushion and the blanket so I had to throw those away I got those uh, to put on there and then I also um, got one to put on that bench but and then I put the white cushion outside and I threw the teal thing away. However, if a guest was to stay on here, that cushion is not, um, it doesn't unfold. That's, it's just to sit down on and it's an outside bench cushion. For aesthetic purposes, it looks great on there and it does provide a little bit of cushion should somebody sit down. But if a guest were to stay on it, I also purchased a inflatable full-size mattress that I can put on there for that one-time stay for that person or whatever. Number seven, I now do my laundry in the laundry facilities in the campground because I sold my washer dryer combo that was the fix to that I had a problem with my washer dryer combo um, I was wrong about what the problem was I thought it was a mold issue it wasn't actually a mold issue I was putting clothes in there but still closing it after say a load and the water that was left in the lip of the door got to the clothes and ended up molding them I ended up selling that washer dryer combo because I felt like I didn't have enough space in this area right here to close or to open the door to have that uh, air or you know to have that uh, washer dryer combo air out. Doing the laundry in the campground facilities which is 175 to dry or wash and 175 to dry they have four three or four machines up there so if I did have more than one load I can get two done at the same time and in less of amount of time as opposed to the washer dryer combo that took like I don't know, four hours for one load and it had to be a small load. Number eight, I now get dressed. I still get dressed upstairs, but sometimes I'll get dressed downstairs seeing as my clothes are downstairs. I now eat at this counter. Sometimes I'll eat upstairs in my bedroom, but it's more comfortable up there. But I will use that and pull it over and then eat on there. I actually moved my computer from upstairs to downstairs in my office and now I sit, I bought a um, teal table and then I have my work stuff there, my jewelry box I set there because when I sit on that couch bed storage it's low and my neck is, is hurting so I propped it up and so now I'm using, it's easier for me to work on my computer and my back doesn't hurt so much. So that is number, the completion of number eight. Number nine, I bypassed my water reclamation system. I had it completely taken out and I got a full re refund for it because in my personal opinion, it did not work. It was taken off the market, it was discontinued, and about 15 of us from our builder were stuck with this water system that didn't really work. I was doing everything I was told, but there were still floaties in it and there, it was just, it smelled like egg water. It just wasn't, it just wasn't doable for me. Now I use the campground water. I'm going to actually show you my storage area where the water reclamation system used to be so I can show you how much more access and more, you know, storage room that I gained. This is my storage where the water reclamation system used to be. Someone built shelves and now I have storage all in there. And I can fit a lot more stuff, so this was actually very beneficial to have this done. Number 10, I had Incredible Tiny Homes come for the last time to fix all of the remaining mistakes that they had made on my house, and they did before I moved to, to this new spot. So it was about four months ago after moving in by them, and they had not come out to fix them, so they finally did. 
and my one-year warranty is up so anything that is left to fix on my house would be my doing I'm no longer in contact with the company but we are not fighting or arguing or anything um, we're, we basically just don't talk anymore and um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm really happy that they came and fixed all their mistakes. I did still compromise on a couple of them because it would have taken a long time, number one, to complete, and number two, more damages and mistakes could have been made. A couple of things I just left alone and just decided to let it go. That was 10 things that I would do differently fixed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any of these things that you want to change either before moving tiny or actually after moving, feel free to take some ideas from this video. I really wish there were some of these videos when I was before I went tiny because then I may have learned some more stuff about what to do and what not to do and stuff like that. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.